Okay, so here we have the Cobra View camera system. And the Cobra View camera is made by Hyperback Technologies. It's something that we make in-house. Um, so most of these components are made in the USA or in Canada. And um, there's only a couple components that come from overseas. And one of the nice things about this set is that if something breaks down in these, they're easy to fix. You can either send it back to me or you can just take it up to your local electronics store and um, you know have a wire fixed or something if it needs it. But for the most part, the system's become pretty much bulletproof and there's not a lot to it. So the system comprises of a magnetic camera and so this is the magnetic camera here and it's used for viewing down the long trunk lines and um, one of the big differences between this camera and a lot of the other cameras for instance uh, when you see a camera like this this is similar to what a rigid camera is these are great cameras except for they're only designed to see up close and so you know they're designed to see a couple inches away um, anything down a long duct they're not really designed to see, they don't have enough light, and the lens inside is, is designed for two to four inches of focal point. These cameras use a different lens, and so, like for instance, the magnetic camera, it shines at about uh, 15 feet, so 15 to 20 feet is when you're going to get the nicest picture. And it also uses an infrared camera with infrared LEDs, and you can just turn it on, and then you turn your infrared on and off with this red button. It's also powered by just four simple double A's. You slide it in and uh, you can buy rechargeables if you want. And the double A's will last probably eight to ten hours. Um, then they'll need to be recharged or replaced. And this is the magnetic camera and it's designed for when you're skipper lining the main trunk lines and we'll show you that after. Next camera is the forward skipper ball camera. And inside here the forward skipper ball camera is designed uh, to predominantly be used at the vent. So it's, it's mainly made to blow everything from the, the register down to the main trunk line. And again, it's got a battery pack, it's wireless, and, uh, and then you got a forward skipper ball on this end, and your camera here. You turn it on and off here, and it's got white LEDs, and it's designed to see about four to six feet down the duct. It's not designed to see as far as the other one. And it's mainly for pushing down the, the forward skip line and blowing all the debris from the register to the main trunk line. Now, you see all the stuff, you get your picture on a little five inch DVR monitor. And the DVR monitor is wireless. So the signal coming from this camera up to the monitor is wireless. And it's not designed to go 50 or 20 feet down the duct. It's mainly designed to go five feet down so that this way, when you're working the tool at the vent, you're not fighting to get the, uh, you're not fighting with wires and stuff at the register, and that's the only reason it's wireless. Okay, so the first camera that I just want to show you is the Ford Skipper Ball camera. So if you were to go back a lot of years in duct cleaning, you'd have, first of all, a blowgun. So when you blow in the vent, you'd hook your blowgun up, you blast everything down, and hopefully, you just had no idea, but you hopefully get everything from the register into the main trunk line. But you can never really be sure you got everything. And this method worked fine as long as you had good air pressure, 200 pounds, 175 psi minimum, and the vent run was short. But if you had anything over about 10 feet, a lot of times the heavy debris would never make its way into the main trunk line. So the blowgun may have worked fine for the first few years of the air duct cleaning industry, but it's not the greatest go-to anymore because there's better tools out there. After the blowgun, was it developed. The next part was a forward skipper line. And the forward skipper line is a basic rigid tube. It's uh, semi-flexible I guess you could say and it's got a little ball on the end. I don't know if you could zoom in on that. But there's a little ball with holes that blow forward. And this was the next evolution after the blowgun as you force, force that down at the register and as you're blowing all the air pressure forward you're pushing all the debris down the vent. But the only problem is, is as good as this worked, you still never knew if you got the system completely clean. So after the forward skipper line, the last evolution was the forward skipper line camera. And that's what this is for. So this is a little more rigid and it's got the camera in the head along with the forward skipper line and you hook it up to your airline. So basically just plug it in, grab your airline. And on here is just an on-off valve. There. And this compressor is pumping around 200 PSI. And so when you're using it, you turn it on, really simple. Turn your camera on, the lights will come on, and you'll see the picture come up. And I always like to leave it 
just by the vent here. We purposely use a small little camera. The batteries on this will last about four hours before they die and they're rechargeable. There's also a magnet on the back that comes in handy for when you're using the magnetic camera. But it's small and light and you just keep it in your pocket. Okay, so to use the forward skipper ball camera, it's pretty simple. You just turn it on, plug it into your, your compressed airline, and turn on your air pressure. And then on your monitor, if you want to record, you just put a micro SD card in the side and uh, turn to the record setting and then just literally hit the record button. It's quite simple. And uh, we'll just put it down here. Now the one thing to, to know about the forward skipper ball camera is that it doesn't magically go down the vent. This isn't like a plumbing camera. Plumbing lines are nice and smooth on the inside, so you can push those down relatively easy. Sheet metal venting though has screws in it, a lot of bends and turns, and they go back and forth. And so sometimes these cameras, they push right down, and then other times you've got to really fight to get them down. So just so be aware of that. So we'll go ahead and turn the air pressure on. And I got it recording right now, so we'll, sh we'll put this footage on the screen next to it so you can actually see it now. This vent has already been cleaned once, so there's not going to be a lot of debris in it, but this will at least give you an idea of what it looks like when you're recording. Okay, so a lot of guys are uh, taking our camera systems and they're putting um, different whips and stuff on them. And so I, I managed to pick up one of these twirly whip things from Heat Seal. And I've never actually tried it, but I thought I'd try it out and see how it works. And so we've got our Cobra View camera. I replaced the ball. It's, the ball just unscrews and you can put on whatever fitting you want. You can also put on reverse balls if you wanted to. Here I've just got a, a hydraulic brake fitting with a quick connect and then the Heat Seal uh, Scorpion Whip Spinner. And we'll just see how. So let's put it down the vent and just see what it does here. Actually works pretty good. It's a reverse ball though, so we probably want to use it from another angle, but I'm actually quite impressed with how well it works. Okay, so there you have it. That's the basic forward skipper ball camera. Um, now, something to know about these cameras too is they're just standard definition lenses. Um, so you're not going to be making motion pictures with these things, but it's good enough so that you can see a basically, you know, clear picture. Um, high definition cameras cost a lot more money. This whole set costs around $1,200. So to get two cameras and a monitor for $1,200 is a pretty good deal considering if you go up to the higher end cameras like a Wooler, you can spend anywhere from three dollars to $6,000. And then you do get high def and a nicer picture, but this isn't really the, what we're, the market we're in. We're trying to just stick with a nice simple unit that's cheap and it works. And it works fairly well. So we'll go down now and we'll show you how the magnetic camera works next. Okay, so this is the magnetic uh, camera, Cobra View magnetic camera. As you see, there's two little magnets here. You got your on-off switch and then your infrared light switch. And predominantly, this camera gets used when you're trying to clean your main trunk line. So you got your scorpion ball here, or your uh, reverse skip ball. You know, it's pretty standard. Put it up in the duct, and you'll need to drill two holes. Now, typically, this duct is about 20 to 25 feet long. It's fairly new, so there's a lot of reflective light coming off the LEDs. Um, but if you don't have quite enough light, you might need to add a little flashlight, drill another hole, and put a little snake light up inside, or put a light up from the back end when you're doing the coil. 
But for the most part, for most ducting, it will see perfectly fine down the duct. And you'll drill one hole here, one inch hole here, and then your, your hole for your either your reverse whip, or if you're going to use scorpion whips or some kind of whip system, you'll need to drill a second hole for that as well. But basically, when you're putting it through, just bend it. Make sure your infrared lights are on. I've got a magnet on the back of the monitor, so you can clip on just about anything with metal on it. And just need to position your, so you can see nicely down the duct. It takes a bit of practice. Once you've done it a few times, it becomes pretty simple. Ah, there we go. So there we get a nice clean picture. I'm not sure if you can see it, but you can see all the way down the duct. And then you can see your skipper ball right here. Hit the record button. Yeah, that's basically how the magnetic camera works. So basically Put your camera in, turn it on, and then put your, your agitation tool in and let it whip around. You'll see everything blowing back towards you on the camera. And then, of course, you can record the footage so you can show it back to your customer later. Also, with this camera, with this monitor, everything records on a little micro SD card. And so all you got to do is pop the card out and load it in your computer, and you can email the files off, or you can compile them into one long video and send it to your client. And uh, we use these little monitors uh, mainly because they fit in your pocket. They're also reasonably cheap, so if you break it or drop it, throw it in your toolbox, they're cheap to replace. And uh, for the most part, the system works really well. And that's the Coverview camera system.